uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I am here with Peter Fury. Peter, the way in. It's all done and dusted yeah. now. So how you, how you guys feeling? Yeah, feeling great, you know. Um, all the talking's over, all the press, all the all the limelight, all the razzle, it's all finished with now. It just comes down to um, the fight itself, which is uh, basically all I'm interested in. Absolutely. So, we, you know, I don't expect you to give us tactics, but um, if you were to do a prediction, as you know I do boxing predictions, what would you be, be your prediction for this fight between Tyson Fury and Vladimir Klitschko? I can't predict. This is a very serious fight. And yes. um, we have to just play it as it goes. It just depends on uh, what Vladimir is going to do. Yes. And uh, like I said, I've got no predictions. The only thing is I'm going to, Tyson's going to do the very best he can. He's 100% confident he can win it. My job is to keep his feet on the floor, look at the danger signs, and uh, he's got to be switched on for every second of every round. He's got to be um, totally focused, and that's what I expect from him. The mind games that everyone talks about clearly haven't happened since you've been in Germany, but the big thing for me is that dressing room, the night with all the hand wraps and stuff. You guys ready for that sort of shenanigans that might happen come fight night? Uh, I'm not too bothered. Like I've always said, if we get any shenanigans, they'll get the same. So I think it's just better that we're just uh, sensible around it, get the hands wrapped, get the gloves on, and we'll do exactly the same with them. If That's not, we've got, to take them, if we've got to take them off two or three times, they'll have to do the same. That's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear about that. The other thing that people are re-talking about now is the fact that Tyson seemed to have... Uh, kind of reined it in uh, now that he's in Germany is that because he's respectful or is he just trying to save all that energy for fight night well he's, he's hardly reined in has he you know he's never been so vocal you know he's uh, <laughs> I think he's been on to Vladimir every second of the, of the minute right you know, when they had the press conference he was very vocal in the immediate workout he was talking to Vladimir while he was doing dancing around the ring so I don't know what people are actually on about I've told Tyson not to um, be vocal anymore. I said, look, go for the weigh-in. Must be professional here. We've got a job to do. That's it. You've done enough selling the fight. Let's just concentrate on what we've got to do. And that's what he's doing. I think that's what people were expecting. The whole weigh-in, the whole, you know, i.e. the Shizora fight and the finger pointing and all that stuff. There was none of that. There was far more of this sort of, you know, response. And, uh, you know, because I've just been reading over Twitter, people saying, oh, Tyson's been a lot more casual, he's been more calm. Is that because the reality's dawned that he's got a big fight? So, you know, these are sort of things I kind of ask, not so much because of my own thoughts, but really what other people are saying and believing. He's very calm, Tyson. He's in a good place. He's, he's calm, he's confident, knows what he's got to do, got 100% faith in his own ability. So, you know, so have I. So basically, if he does what he's told, you know, we could have a new champion of the world here. Pete, you've done a lot of work with Tyson over the years. Is this it? Is this it? Is this the final product? I think it is. I think he's ready. I think it's Tyson's time. And I've always said this is Tyson's fight to lose by switching off, losing concentration. If he stays focused, keeps on his job, I don't see a, I don't see a problem. I'm not saying it's not going to be a hard fight. And look, I can't say how this fight's going to go. You know, Vladimir, he can punch. You know, he's the best that Tyson's faced by far. You know, so and also, Tyson's the best fight of Vladimir's face, whether he thinks so or not. So this is very interesting. It's a crossroads fight. This it can go any way, any round, any moment. Peter, finally, I'd like to thank you um, for always being there. And every time we try to get a call to you, you've been there to answer the phone. And regardless if it's been just a, a, a domestic fight or an international fight or a big fight. You've always been there. And yeah. Your attitude has never changed. It's always been the same. It's always been open door policy. I want to say thank you. And also, big support to yourself and to Tyson to do it um, tomorrow night. Well, look, it, it, for me, it's all about what we're trying to do. We work very, very hard. We're dedicated. And this is it. You know, it's all about the level of dedication you're prepared to put in and the, and the one who's mentally focused the best. And it's all about being rewarded by the fans and proper genuine fans appreciating what we do. So it's all about interacting with the fans anyway. So, you know, it's pointless having the win if it was just him and Tyson and nobody to celebrate with. It's all about, this is a team effort. 
black and people. It's on a global scale. So very happy to be here. Happy to be in this position. And uh, we'll see what happens on the night. I'm very, very interested and very excited. As well. Peter Fury, thank you so much, as always, for talking to Baylor TV. You're welcome, Ingram. All the best. Thank you Enjoy so much. Enjoy the fight. Take care. I will do.